Years ago, an actor friend of mine, uh, I ran into him and he was, he wasn't in a good mood. He was, he was upset with himself and I said, what's going on? And he told me he'd just been to an audition and he didn't get the gig. And I said, what was it? Tell me about the role, tell me the project, who was in the room, blah, blah, blah. So he, he, he fills in all the details and it turns out it was the casting the director, the casting associate, the, the, the a producer. I think the director was, I'm not 100% sure, but there was at least one producer there. Anyway, it was a project he really wanted. These were really good people. But he didn't get it and he left and that was it. He was in a total funk. I said, that's interesting. So why are you so hard on yourself? And he was like, what are you talking about? I didn't get the gig. I said, well, look, I, I, we may, I'm not an actor, so what do I know? But I have this crazy idea that the, the purpose of an audition is primarily to get invited back, that to get the gig is secondary. Like, look who you just told me was in the room. These are like people, people dream about meeting these people and you just spent time with them. And so I, again, it may be naive, but I think if you walk in and you're smiling and you greet the assistant and you greet everyone in the room, and of course you're going to give your very finest performance, but you let them know you as a personality and you make it fun and you thank them and you greet them on the way out. There's a million reasons why you not be, might not be correct for that role, but they'll remember you. And the job is to just get invited back because if you're on the spectrum, if no is over here and yes is over here, these twins that were never separated at birth, right? They're essential to each other. If you're on the spectrum and, and, and you're invited back, you're inching toward your goal. Eventually, they're gonna hire you. It's a given. That's my belief, that's my experience. So, If, if, you know, like people always ask, how do you handle rejection? I celebrate it. It's like, I'm in the game. I'm doing something right. And it's, it's an opportunity. No, it's, you know, I, I did a TED talk about it. It's, no, it's just a conversation starter. It's, I really believe that. It's like when someone says, like in the Mitch story, if someone says no to me, this is going to be a pass. It's like fabulous. I totally upend their expectation instead of like, ah. Uh, and making them uncomfortable, my attitude is great. That's fantastic. The only thing that would be better is if you tell me why. Like, I wanna learn. And what's happening is, yes, you're learning, but what you've also done is you've bonded more deeply. Like that's a human experience that is not common. You're gracious, you're curious, you're thankful, and you're open. That's the person people wanna work with.